a leadership workshop was recently held for adolescents and teens in the New Amsterdam area. Details in this report. Members of the New Jersey area Samaj Mandir's humanitarian mission are once again in Guyana to spearhead several community development projects, one of which involves the hosting of self-enhancement workshops targeting youth throughout the country. The workshops are centered on two main themes, overcoming peer pressure and developing good leadership skills. It is the humanitarian mission's belief that in order for youth to be the future leaders of tomorrow, they need to develop the requisite skills and become empowered today. As such, several leadership workshops were held yesterday, July 22nd in Region 6, including one at the Boris Educational Institute in New Amsterdam. Based on leadership and peer pressure, um, across this country we have a lot of young children have been facing with peer pressure. Uh, the leadership is how to become the leader instead to become the follower. As a humanitarian organization, over the past couple of years, we have somewhat excel in the kind of a sense that we want to do more an uh, um, enhancement program instead of just handing out. We are trying our best to stamp out handing out. We want to do more workshops, more empowerment programs. Pandit Suresh Sogrim, a representative of the New Jersey Area Samaj Mandir's humanitarian mission. The facilitator of the workshops is Pandit Sogrim's son, Staff Sergeant Yogeshwar Sugrim of the United States Army. The hosting of the workshops is a collaborative effort between the humanitarian mission and the government of Guyana through its Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport. Pandit Sugrim also highlighted some of the other projects the organization will be undertaking during its visit to Guyana. Such as the children that who are locked in due to health reasons, we'll be visiting them. We are planning to have our annual blood drive. We are planning to have a walkathon on domestic violence, abuse, rape, suicide, and which is very dominant within our com community is the rum drinking, that which is destroying the fabric of our society. Because many men folks, after consuming alcohol, go home and they tend to torture their family. Um, being in New Jersey, and every morning that I read the newspaper, I can see some woman is getting killed from the hands of their husband or their living boyfriend and I personally feel that as an NGO organization we are not only here to give handle but to address all the issues that are destroying the fabric of our society. He revealed that while the aim of the humanitarian mission to help the less fortunate and underprivileged in Guyana is still the same the organization will be using a different tactic this time around. They now want to channel all of their attention, energy and resources into helping those who are willing to help themselves instead of helping those who are simply looking to be given a fish and not being taught how to catch a fish. Empowerment programs that we will teach you how to catch the fish instead of giving you the fish. And if you are successful, we also help you to catch the fish, to give you the mechanism how to go out and to fish. This year, humanitarian organization, we have focused big time on empowerment. Uh, we'll be having workshops across the country. We started in Port Moran, we're in Kanji, today we're in this section of Borbis and we have other areas we'll be visiting for today. The humanitarian mission have journeyed a long way and again I'm saying is that we are willing to help those who are willing to help themselves. We are willing to target areas with low working income families than families who are just being lazy and looking for handouts. The organization is ready to stamp all handouts. We are willing, if you are willing to work and you are willing to help yourself, then come and see us. We will be more than happy to help you as an individual. In the past, the New Jersey Area Samaj Mandir's humanitarian mission has helped to feed, clothe and shelter the less fortunate in Guyana. And according to the members, they plan to increase the assistance given to the underprivileged. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Janelle Williams.